Welcome to another installment of Rasmussen Farms with Ryan and Jackie. Hey, so we spent most of the day today trying to figure out how we can get some water to our calves. We've got some pasture that we're leasing and it's, it's old nasty ground, but it does still have some good grass. It's about 40 acres. So we got some bred cows that are over at another pasture we got them loaded up and taken over here, but we've got to figure out a way to get water to them. I guess part of Rasmussen Farms is being very frugal. So I'm struggling with that, but I'm trying to go along. So we have these containers in the back. I don't know if you can see them on the trailer while we're driving, but you can buy those fairly inexpensive. They're for delivering liquid chemicals and different things. I think they're probably between 275 350 gallons. And we had one more that we haven't cut the top off of for grain. So we thought instead of hiring somebody to deliver water that we would figure out a way to take a trough out there and then seeing how long it'll last, see if we can get away with doing it just two or three times a week to save some money. So it's taken us a while to figure out the connection for the drain uh, to get it to fill up. So this is kind of our voyage run to see if our connections work and see if we can save us some money. So here's the pasture that they're in. It doesn't look like much from right here, but the further you get back, the greener it is and the deeper it is. So they should be able to feed off that for a long time. This is the, the ball valve essentially that comes on the, the containers. I guess there's three different types, but I was looking at this and it looks like regular ABS threads and I was trying to find something that would work. So I went and bought first this um, two inch coupling and the, fids, the, sorry, the threads don't fit. So I asked Dr. Google and about it and some guy explained that it needed a cam lever. So that's what that is. It actually hooks on right here around this round part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this on and then run a 45 degree angle down to our trough. So here goes nothing. Now we're nice and snug there. Knock on wood. enough here I don't think we need to worry about gluing these or anything all right we ready to test this dear mm -hmm. oh we need to crank uh, cap crack the top so it can breathe Hang on. looking at the sides of this I didn't think it would come close to filling it but this is probably every bit uh, 300 gallons, maybe more. I'm not sure, but it was definitely heavy for the tractor to lift. But hey, our cows have water. 